responsibility without authority 
That's the skill. You don't need much intelligence to take care of your responsibility with authority. <clears throat> but anybody can do. But it needs certain intelligence, certain skills to do your responsibility even when you have, don't have any authority. In fact, that is much more effective. Just like what we have done in Art of Living. <laughs> you know, nobody gave us an authority. But we took responsibility to bring peace and reform the world. And we have been successful. Gurudev, your tweets have helped me in many situations. What is the permanent solution? If there is a permanent problem, there could be permanent solution. <laughs> the problem is a temporary thing, it's a passing phase. Why are you even thinking about a permanent solution? <laughs> There's another on social media, Gurudev. Time, tide and tweets wait for no man. How do we put up with this obsession for social media? You know, it's new, so there is an obsession. But you get used to it, it becomes a little old and nobody cares then. You know, when just, just remember, few years back when the television came for the very first time. People were glued to the television. Today nobody cares. Right? Yeah. And I heard many people don't even switch on the television for days. Though they have television in every, in every place, every room practically, even in bathrooms. But hardly people use it. Right? Yeah. Gurudev, Sage Patanjali contributed to yoga thousands of years back, but we don't see any temple to commemorate for this contribution. Maharshi Patanjali has a temple in Rameshwar, the tip of India. It's an island off the coast. There is a temple. There is, they even say it is his samadhi. That's where his body lies. And if you see some of the Shiva temples, they do have a small shrine for him. But in, in a way it is good that you don't locate Patanjali, you don't confine Patanjali to a location. He is everywhere. We should... Wherever there is yoga, there is Patanjali. And yoga is in the entire creation. Every baby, when it's born, it's a yogi. So it represents Patanjali in some way. Because baby has all the signs of a yogi. They do asana, the way they breathe, the way they they keep their mind fresh and alive. You know? They have those characteristics of a yogi. Yeah. Gurudev, Sage Patanjali believes in gradual growth. It is reached in seven steps. But Sudarshan Kriya seems to do it in one step. So do we need to read more about Patanjali? <laughs> yes, yes, Patanjali is basis of yoga. You can't call yourself a practicing yogi and say, no, I don't regard Patanjali. No, it is not possible. No. Yes, Patanjali do agree that it, it's also in built in Patanjali. He says there are many options. Sometimes just by faith you get it. 
श्रद्धा वीर स्मृति समाधि प्रज्ञा पूर्व के मंत्र दट इन वन स्टेप यू कैन दिस इज ऑल्सो मैंशन विद पतंजलि Gurudev seeing you i feel you are enlightened does individuality remain after enlightenment when you come to that step you will understand why were you about it now gurudev i heard that you have attained enlightenment in february many years ago we are in the same month now could you please share something of that period no no don't uh, hear about all the these are stories <laughs> your nature is always there with you yeah ha ah, it was many years back we I came up with Sudarshan Kriya. That is a different thing. March 3rd and 4th, I think, was the first course when we taught in Shri Bunga. Kurdi, what is the connection between eclipse and japa? it is said uh, that when sun moon and earth are in one line they are in alignment that time is good for japa it is said in the scriptures it is said it is many times more effective when you do japa at that at that uh, time more than that someone has to do research i don't know hmm. but eclipses are known for good known as very good for spiritual practices for meditation for japa for all these things it said it brings quick result at the time ja gurudev are there separate meditations when sattva rajas or tamas is predominant yeah when sattva and rajas yes uh, there could be some different types of meditation but tamas is only sleep yeah yeah in rajas to get rid of rajas there should be a little more dynamic thing you cannot just still sit still when rajas is more in the system so then it will dance and all catharsis like letting go of the rajas becomes an important thing then meditation can happen for sattva it is automatic instantaneous nothing to do gurudev how to protect ourselves from cyber bully I have no idea cuz I don't go into that much Why don't you ask some experts here who are good in cyber You mean when people are bullying you what to answer and all that I don't know I don't buy into those bullying Yeah I just let people say whatever they want to say. I don't care about this. <laughs> it is inside of them. They say it, and then they get out. That's okay. Yeah. Gurudev, I am inclined towards spirituality, and I want to quit everything and travel to Himalayas. But my parents are worried. What should I do? you are mistaken spirituality is not just in himalayas there is no there is only snow there <laughs> got it 
Spirituality is where you are. Spirituality is when you live amidst people and not get disturbed by others' comments and others' behavior. That is where is the litmus test of spirituality. You should be right here and be calm and be serene. Running away from everything, going somewhere is not going to help. <laughs> it may appear to have helped you temporarily, maybe for a week or less than a week you may feel, oh, very nice, good meditation. But then your mind, what you are running away from is your own mind. So even when you run there, your mind is going to be with you. Yeah. You come here, be here, you do some seva, meditate here. We are going to make a, another meditation hall which is absolute silence. Only you can go to be there silently. We are planning on that in the ashram. Hall of silence, go sit there. Yeah. Gurudev, who invented yoga philosophy? Lord Shiva or Maharshi Patanjali? Some say Lord Shiva taught yoga first and so is Adi Guru. Shiva was not a person, you must understand. Shiva never took a body and lived on this planet. As some people say, he lived 10,000, 15,000 years ago. It is total rubbish. In fact, it is insulting Shiva to limit him to be born in a place and to have a particular kind of life at some place in Himalayas. It's an insult to Shiva. Shiva is called Aja, never born. Ananta never ends. He had no origin, he had no birth, so no death. He is the grand time, he is time of time. Only ignorant people will say, Shiva was born and he was dancing, he was sitting, he was meditating, all that. In the gross, in the subtle, he is always dancing. In the subtle, it's, it is non-stop dance. Shiva is in a meditative state non-stop. In the subtle world, in the subtle, so it's an aprakrita divya manusha It is non-material subtle forms. Non-material subtle form. In non-material subtle form, the divinity, the divine energy is always there. The divine energy is silent and divine energy is dynamic. And the divine energy is all permeating, yet so complete in every location. He is Purna, complete, yet Ananta. When you say Purna, it should have completion, it should have boundary. But the dichotomy is, he is Ananta, is infinity. Infinity means there is no boundaries. So, Shiva is that energy, unbounded energy in the universe of which everything else is made. The scripture says, Sarvam Shiva Mayam Jagat. It is the consciousness by which everything in the universe is made up of. And Shiva is space. Because people cannot relate to space, so artists drew a picture to have a personal connection with the energy, with the space. The purpose of artists is to invoke the subtle feelings of love and devotion in you. So, to make people understand, they created a form. They made a form. But in reality, Shiva had no form. The formless. 
and yet he is in all the forms of the world unfortunately people have miss understood and misquoted and misrepresented the whole thing that so that's it everything about shiva is symbolic having a moon on his head jata moon is he look he is there the jata symbolizes intricate energy there is a story that both vishnu and brahma the creator and the maintainer of the universe wanted to find the shiva's head and feet so one went for thousands and thousands of years to find the feet of shiva another went to find the head of shiva after many millenniums they came together and neither of them could find either the head nor the not the feet is simply saying he is endless there is there is no basis or there is no beginning there is no end and to that principle if someone says he was in 15000 years ago somewhere sitting in himalayas it's total rubbish yeah Gurudev, what are the top five things a parent should teach a child? I would like to give this as an exercise for all the parents here. Let them think about what are the five things that you should want, you want to teach your child. So every parent should come up with your own idea, and you tweet, and we will see. next we will pick up the most interesting one about it yeah? gurudev what are your views on industrialization and automation that will eliminate so many jobs for humans just to keep jobs you cannot stop industrialization in spite of industrialization there are many things that people can be engaged in doing you know there are so many things where people are necessary for example yoga teachers we need many 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 yoga teachers in the world ha huh? so shall we meditate now hmm? enough no anything else <coughs> today is almost full moon still one more day to go but it's almost full look at the moon you are not projecting in the screen no put it off moon band kar do Look at the moon. And now you may close your eyes and feel that connection with the moon. Not just with your body but with your spirit as well, your mind. 
you have known this moon for ages every year you have witnessed 12 full moons 13 full moons every year if you are 20 years you would have witness 260 full moons and if you are 40 years of age you would have witnessed 510 full moons 520 full moons and if you are 80 close to 1000 full moons and your spirit has witnessed millions of full moons feel the rays of the moon falling on your body and your spirit connected to this beautiful full moon just relax your body relax your shoulders Your body is a precious gift to you from nature. Honor your own body. honor your own body
Let go of all your efforts. Let's take a deep breath in. Keep a big smile on your face. And take a deep breath in, feel the breeze. Shh. 
Slowly and gradually become aware of body and surroundings. Shareer or parisar ke prati sajak hote hote dheere se aankhe khole. Good? Yep. Was it good? Okay, how many birthdays and anniversaries today? Huh? Stand up, birthdays and anniversaries, stand up. Everyone greet them. Today we were live on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Facebook and Instagram and we were uh, joined with 65,000 views from across the world. Just today, just right now. Farewell of 10 standard students of SSRVM. Yes, they can stand up. Where are you all? Where are they? Stand up, all of you. Maybe they have left. Okay.